You want to get world edit in Minecraft? Let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Not only for the most recent version, but this guide will work for future versions of Minecraft as well. First things first, come here. This is the second link in the description down below and actually our in-depth text guide on getting world edit. It's one of the reasons that this will work in the future. It's because this is updated to the most recent version of Minecraft. So if in the future getting world edit changes, this guide will be updated for it. And the video up here at the top is always for the most recent version of Minecraft as well, ensuring that no matter what, world edit will be able to be installed using this guide here if not the video you're watching speaking of the video you're watching let's go ahead and get world edit after you're at the second link in the description down below here scroll down and click on download world edit that'll take you to world edit's official download page where all you've got to do is click on files and then we want to sort for the game version we want and the mod loader fabric we're going to be installing the fabric version of world edit here you can install with other mod loaders actually all three of the major mod loaders but we're going to be using Fabric in this video. Click the three dots next to the file, click download file, and the download will begin after a few seconds. While this is downloading, how about from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the next YZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want, including adding mods like World Edit to it. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server this simple way at the first link in the description down below to break down to xyz slash sgh now when downloading world edit you'll probably need to keep or save the file 100 safe to do that so go ahead and click save here and the file will begin downloading we also need to download fabric like i said we're installing the fabric version of world edit so we need the fabric mod loader this is of course linked in the description down below we'll take you to our in-depth guide again ensuring in the future if the way to get fabric has changed this article will be up to date but we can go ahead and click download fabric here to go to fabric's official download page on this page, you want to click on this download universal jar link. The reason we're using that is because it's going to allow you to get more Minecraft mods in the future easier if we go ahead and get download universal jar, get Java set up. Once you click that, you will be prompted to keep or save it. 100% safe to do that. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser and move the files we downloaded to our desktop. For me, they're in my downloads folder here, and once they're on our desktop, we're actually going to be focusing on the fabric installer first, then installing world edit. Right click on fabric, click on open with, click Java, and the fabric installer will open. Unless it doesn't. If it doesn't, it's because you need to get Java. Specifically, the version of Java that's in the description down below and on our website here. Right now, it's Java 21, but for Minecraft 1.30 or 1.22 even, it could change. And if it does, this will be up to date for the most recent version of Minecraft. Right now, it's Java 21. In the future, it could be a different version. So if it's a different version, a okay. That just means that's what you need for Minecraft. You may also want to run the jar fix after getting Java. This is going to take all the jar files to your computer, like the Fabric Installer and World Edit, and link them back to Java, making them work together. Now let's just go ahead and minimize our browser. Again, right click on fabric, click on open with, click Java, and the fabric installer will open. Here you want to make sure the version of Minecraft you want to install Fabric is selected, and then go ahead and click install. Fabric will now install. Just make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed. If not, you may have issues. You're also going to need to have played the version of Minecraft you're installing Fabric for. For example, if you're installing Fabric for 1.22.3 in the future, you would need to have played that version. Just open it to the main menu and close out of it. Then you'll be able to install Fabric. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and click OK, close out of the Fabric installer, and actually delete it. We don't need it anymore. Now let's get World Edit. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, you should have a Fabric installation already. We can check that by going to installations up here at the top and making sure modded is checked. If modded's not checked, Fabric won't be there. But if we check modded, there it is, and it's for the correct version. If Fabric's not here or it's not for the correct version, go ahead and click New Installation. You can do the same thing you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends, then go and click the versions drop down box. Here you want to select release fabric loader for the Minecraft version that you're wanting to play fabric for, in our case 1.21.4, but for you it might be 1.30 in the future. Go ahead and click the resolutions drop down box here, select the resolution you want. I'm just doing that so you can see better. You don't have to, but I recommend it. And then make sure launch after install is not checked. You do not want launch after install checked. That's because if it is checked, it'll launch Minecraft and you won't install world edit. So we want to make sure that's not checked. Click install. You might get a prompt here to play Minecraft, click cancel. We don't want to do that. Now what we want to do is hover over the fabric installation, either the one that was there by default or the one that we created, and then go ahead and click on the folder icon. Then in here you should have a mods folder. If you don't, that's okay. Just right click, create a new folder, title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and open your mods folder. Now drag and drop world edit from your desktop into your mods folder, right like so. It's that easy to get world edit. Now all we've got to do is play Minecraft using our fabric installation, either one that was there by default or the one that you created, Click play, click play again, and now 
Minecraft will open up, and most importantly, World Edit will be installed. So from the main menu, there's no indication, but if we go into single player here, what's cool, World Edit will just work with the blocks you have installed. So if you don't have any other mods installed, you can use this in a vanilla world, go back to vanilla, and it will still work. We can go ahead and do slash slash wand, and that will give us a World Edit wand here. This looks like a cool little area to test, so let's go ahead and left click to make selection one, and then we can come over here and right click to make selection two. Uh, except I don't really like this position, so we can actually go up here into the air, do slash slash POS position 2, and now everything within that square that we just made is selected. We could, for example, replace it, so we could just do slash replace, or slash slash, excuse me, replace air, and uh, it would just delete it, but I don't like that, so we can undo it. I want to replace all of these grass and dirt blocks here, so we're going to replace the grass blocks, make sure you're using two slashes with world edit, Slash slash replace the grass blocks with, let's do emerald blocks. Bam. But we also want to replace the dirt there. So we'll go ahead and replace the dirt with emerald blocks as well. And we'll even grab the stone. So pretty much this is an entire kind of emerald hill, if you will. And there we have it. There's so much you can do with World Edit. You can create brushes, all of that stuff to like literally paint your Minecraft world. It, it's insane what you can do. But this guy just shows you how to get World Edit, not necessarily how to use it. So if you want to get on that, let us know in the comments. And we'll see you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up if it helped. And uh, I'm out. Peace.